check it out. I mean, you already know how to put text on the screen, but let's do something cooler. Let me just grab a marker from the background and I'm gonna make a little dot on the top of my finger right here. Now let's just cast a quick spell and check it out. As you see, I'm in full control now. AI has no chance. But anyway, enough with the jokes. If you are new here, my name is Slav and I do a lot of educational content about video editing and graphic design. So before we start, make sure to hit the subscribe button to see more of my videos and level up your creative game. Alright, now as we have this out of the way, out of the way, you know, let's head to After Effects and see how we can do it. I know, I know, After Effects is a scary place and it can be really intimidating, but I promise you, what we're gonna do today is nothing to worry about, it's gonna be easy peasy. After you open After Effects, the first thing you want to do is to create a new composition from the footage. Now just go to a layers window on the bottom left by default, right click on it, create new and null object. You don't even really need to know what the null object is, but think about it as a vessel or as a container that contains the information. Then just select your main clip, go to the tracker and click track motion. Sometimes you might have the tracker window open and all you have to do is to go to the top ribbon bar click on the window and select the tracker from right here and the only thing to keep in mind before you track the motion is you want to focus it on the really contrasty point for me personally I marked my finger with that little red dot that you saw but if you're gonna be doing something else like take this scene for example just find the most contrasty object in this thing it can be the light of this purple thing inside of my computer but anyway enough with explanations just select the clip and click track motion now you want to make sure that your motion target is set to null 1 and if it's not click edit target and select null 1. You can zoom in a little bit, probably something like this and you will see this square. It's a big square and a small square. All you have to do now is just select it and find that kind of contrasty object that I was talking to you about. You want to set the small square to the side of the object and the big square you want to usually make a little bit bigger and the bigger square what it's trying to do it's trying to locate that contrasty spot within the next frame. So if you know that your finger within the next frame gonna move just a little bit you don't need to have a huge big square but if you know that your finger from here gonna go to here within one frame then you want that big square to be a little bit bigger now as we are all prepared to go just hover over analyze forward right here and click on it as you see after effects needs some time to track your finger and it's lost it right here this app is not perfect it's happening so what you want to do is find the keyframe where it's lost it so for me it was right here it had it and the next keyframe it didn't and now I'm just gonna drag my thing to relocate it again and click analyze again. It improved itself, now it's tracking it all over the frame. Let's just give it a little bit more time now. This entire process might feel a bit surreal, but the only real thing that After Effects does is track that little dot on your finger and frame by frame it sets keyframes to indicate the position of that dot. Now as After Effects is done, just go over the timeline and see if it tracked everything correctly. All you have to do after that is just click apply right here. Select both dimensions and click ok. Alright, we did the main part, but how the hell you attach text to it? To answer this question, let's add text first. I'm just gonna click the T tool and just type sticky text. Maybe make it a little bit bigger, something like this, and move it next to my finger. And the last thing that is left for us to do is located right here and it's called pick whip. Think about it as a link that links one element to another. In our case we want to link our text to the null object because null object has all the information contained within the tracking. Just drag it and release it when the null one is highlighted. And now you see that the parent and link for the text is changed to the null one and if you click play you will see the text being attached to your finger. Final thing to make it even more realistic, you can hover over motion blur and check out this box. It will add a little bit of motion blur to the text as you can see right here and make it a little bit more realistic for human eyes. Let's play it one more time. As you see, nothing complicated. I still need to wash my finger, but it was pretty simple process. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you. And I would highly appreciate it if you like this video, if you found it useful in any way, and subscribe to the channel. It will help me a lot and you will level up your creative game. I'll see you in the next one.